Are you ready? You know, I'm not a big celebrity. You know, I'm just funny, popular, devastatingly handsome. Last night on the phone, Gracie said, Daddy, did you get your bear? His mother's little number. Proud to send it express. Forget the camera. The camera itself has an internal double. I jump out of the truck real quick, spray down, I spray myself down. Not the best of luck. We got another flat. If you're not following the scene in solo vlog series, you're crazy. Yeah, you're crazy. I'm crazy. Finally getting a chance to get out and hunt. We're just dropping off camel life with the blind. Just breaking day. It's gonna be fun. I'm just glad I'm not sitting in the blind. We'll get our chance in the blind, I'm sure, maybe tomorrow or the next day or so. But the plan is we're just gonna go and there's a bunch of bag fields. We're just gonna try to catch the beer filtering out and uh, get up in the foothills. But that's what we're gonna do. Day one, let's get it going. So we've been uh, driving around. Luckily, we drew an area with a lot of bag fields. It's kind of cool to be able to see so many deer. And antelope. So we've spotted a bunch of bucks. We're gonna kind of move up over this ridge and see if we can take a look at them. One pretty nice buck. You see there's antelope all over through the fields. The deer just kind of work out and up into these foothills. It'll be kind of fun. We're gonna move up through here. Hopefully see if we can get a shot. So we spotted a couple bucks back here. Moved on farther up the draw. There's two bucks bedded up here, a good three by four, and a, uh, a three by three. You know, both worth going after, so we're gonna get after it. We're not gonna waste a lot of time, and neither one of them are giants, but it'd be fun to get a good stock on. And wind's marginal, so we're just gonna skirt around, see if we can get up on there. Just gonna see how close we can get. Buck, he kept looking. He must have seen something he didn't like. Oh, um, skyline, pretty good. Yeah, there's just nothing to hide behind. They were out here in the open, so they're gone. They definitely knew something was up, but it was worth a shot. Decent buck, by far the, the best buck we've seen on the trip. But you know, I kind of think, honestly, I think it was me. I think I got caught. 
moving. And uh, then once he saw something, wasn't sure what it was. Just a matter of time before they bailed. So anyway, the plan for tomorrow. Nah, we'll talk about the plan for tomorrow later. Had a couple of great stocks on uh, a couple of nice bucks, especially that one just right there before dark. But got a great sunset. We got to go pick up the. Uh, Camel Life boys out of the blind, but I think the plan for tomorrow is going to be pretty much exactly what we did today. We've got a bunch of ag fields here that the deer are just filtering down into like crazy right now. And this morning we saw a lot of deer and a lot of bucks working out of the out of the uh, out of the alfalfa and working up into these foothills. So tomorrow I'm pretty sure we're just going to have the exact same plan and uh, see if we can't see something worth going after and put a stop to it. But kind of nice when you got a a sunset like this and uh, you know the wind kind of died down but it's an enjoyable evening nice and cool so now it's just time to go grab those boys out of the blind and be glad that we're not in a blind we got lucky today and we we're able to do some spotting stock so we'll be back after it tomorrow we'll see you then <laughs>